We are live. We're live. We're live. Episode 22 of the North South podcast. Yeah. Valentine's Day edition. I feel bad that I just yawned. Fuck. Hey, well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 2022 in 2022. We're back at it. You know, it's been a little bit since we've done the podcast. We're kind of just doing it on a, a looser schedule now, not so structured. Maybe in the near future we would, but, you know, for now we're just going to ride with it how we're we're doing it now. But it's Valentine's Day, so we figured it would be the perfect day to, to join y- you guys on the Internet. We did it last year. We did it last year, yeah. I got a notification yeah. about that. No, it was a good time, too. You know, just sitting down and chatting. But we got more interesting stuff to do this time because while well, Yazzie was was at work yesterday, I loaded up a whole bunch of Valentine's Day related clips. And, you know, I'm going to get to reveal them to her with you. They're all love-oriented in a certain degree. A lot of men defending their wives and... Knocking guys out and stuff like that. So <laughs> sounds like my my thing. And women defending their their guys. So okay. a little okay. bit of we got both ends of the spectrum. But uh, why don't we jump in to our? Do you got anything? Else? To add? Yeah. No, I, I I'm so long for the ride, y'all. I found out we were doing this last night. I just put a shirt on, <laughs> wash my face, and I'm here. So uh, yeah, Back I'm excited to see what's going on here. Let's do it. Okay, um, so our first... <laughs> the name. <laughs> I just say bitch. Oh, hey, don't look at that right now. <laughs> I do love the uh, the names I put on here. Okay, look away for a second. Sarah Wyatt. <laughs> Boom. Ooh. Okay, I'll make sure we got some sound here. Okay, here's our opening clip. Sorry, this guy's a gem. Boom, we got sound. Boom. Oh, I know what happened. Boom. All right, cool. Sorry about that. All right, we're back at it. And that's just on mute now. Okay, last try, and it's going to work, I swear. All right, now we're ready. Interesting, right? right? <laughs> Response. <laughs> so they can't get him to take it down, so they brought in all of these other like lawn signs to protest him. Even though the only reason he put up a Nazi flag is because they took away his pet raccoon. <laughs> who took that? Out? Like, did the, the the state like the who? state? So basically, my understanding is that it's illegal to have a pet raccoon because it's like a wild animal. So apparently, like he actually on the YouTube video of this has like no views at all, but he commented on every single comment there and like explained. That, like, basically you can't have a wild animal as a pet in oh. in Pittsburgh, which is basically where Aetna is. Dude, and that's so funny. Yeah, so they took, a, took it away. And then he's saying, it's just like, you guys are Nazis, so I'm going to fly the Nazi flag. Because you in, took away my pet raccoon. Named Bandit. His name that's is Bandit. Crazy. And apparently another one, too, which he mentioned in his... Uh... The thing is, I feel... <laughs> you gotta... I do feel bad for him, I but know, at the same time, <laughs> this is such a crazy response. No, he's completely insane. It's like... <laughs> I've got plenty. 
I don't know if you have friends, man. Like he probably is racist. You would. Th- you Why have does he to. have that you in have the first place? <laughs> yeah. So he's, he had the Nazi flag, and now he's just flying it to let them know that they're Nazis. But they're like, buddy, but you're the one with the flag. That's actually such a good point because that right? looks like that doesn't look like a, a new. I don't think this guy knows how to use Amazon or the internet to like order what. Nor do I don't even know if they sell that on Amazon. But no, I I <laughs> highly doubt it. Yeah, but um, so it's like that's like a like you said that, that looks like an heirloom for sure. You go on right. eBay, you see if you can get it on eBay. Wait, no, 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 that was an accident. I was going to uh, don't don't pay attention. It's okay. No, um, I'm just going to the Google Drive. But um, no, it's uh, it's odd to say the least that somebody would hang a Nazi flag in protest of people being Nazis. For taking <laughs> away his pet raccoon. Yeah, he's like, you're going to take away my pet raccoon? Well, guess what? I do agree they should let him have it. Well, I don't know. He I feel took like down he the flag, bit, though. I feel like if he got bit, he wouldn't get treatment. Oh, and then that would be... <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like that's a precautionary thing for everybody in the community. Well, it was a wild animal that got hit by a car, and then he just oh. cared for it. So, yeah, sorry, I didn't mention that. But that's the way that he attained this damaged raccoon. But anyways, I'm pretty sure I found his contact information, which we're not going to show. Do you got your phone? Let's ask uh, him about it. Are we going to call him? Let's call him and find out. I'm so curious because I loaded this all up, and you know what? Let's let's That's crazy. Let's take the jump. Okay. okay. He uh, he commented on every single post in there, but let's just call him and see if he picks up. I think this is his number. It might be his dad's number, but I'm pretty sure he lives in the same house. I'm so nervous. On the edge of my seat. Come on. Come on. Come on. We might get lucky. Who knows? It might just ring forever. Maybe. Oh. Nope. <laughs> my heart is racing. I know. Give it two more rings. This would make be very anticlimactic. He has one of those phones that just ring forever, I think. A landline? Yeah. <laughs> With no, uh, uh, what's it called, setup? Uh, answering machine. So just keep on ringing. Juan even came in for the show. No, I thought I locked him up. Okay, looks like he might not be picking up. We got one more number to try. And you know what? We're just going to jump right in. Um, let's give it a try. Let's try this. 4 one. Oh, I can't say his number. I'm going to keep that one to ourselves. Like this one's probably more likely considering when this one was updated. Yeah. So, I don't know. I went on the... Apparently, you can just look up a lot of information. I almost got, like, all of his criminal record information, too, which apparently you can just get. That's crazy. This is nuts. I'm scared. I want to look mine up. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Let me block his number. I'm calling on your phone because it's an American number. I figure we might be safer to get him to pick up. Come on. It's crazy that it's ringing, though. It didn't just go dead. So this is somebody's number. Yeah. You can only hope. That's all you can do. Maybe we don't get in connection at the very least. Let's pull up uh, the YouTube video. I want to show you his comments. Because they're fucking hilarious. Etna Raccoon. Alright. Looks like we might lose it. That's okay. Oh shit, that guy showed up. Yeah. Wow. So maybe he'll call during the show. I'm not sure. If he calls back, that would be insane, but I doubt he has that. But yeah, he commented on a lot of these. Like he said, I want to thank everybody for their support for me and Bandit and Sassy from Richard McCloskey. Thank you and God bless you. What the F? That was only a month ago, too. Oh, no. No, this is very recent. And then he said, uh, someone else said, I think he's harmless. 
and it's his way of calling the games uh, the state game commission Nazis. But he's old and crazy and not going about it right. And then he commented, "Thank you from Richard McCloskey." <laughs> And then uh, a, a couple other things he like said, which he were really funny. Yeah, funny. yeah, he signs his name. <laughs> this guy needs to move to Arkansas, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can get a license and you can have them. And he's like, I don't want to move to Alaska. <laughs> but they <laughs> said I can, I can get a permit. Where can I get a permit at? <laughs> and thank you very much for your comment, Richard McCloskey. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? He's like, I'm talking about Arkansas, not fucking Alaska. And then uh, he said, com- and somebody said, communists took the raccoon. And he said, yes, the Nazis took my raccoon away from me. I had it since it was a baby. It got run over in front of my house by two vehicles. I took care of it. Okay. He was my pet. My dog liked him. And I liked him. <laughs> and he had, they had her, bi- what? I liked him. They had her business doing that to me. I don't know what that means. Oh, they had no business. They had no business doing that to me. Okay, that makes sense. Um, And then someone said, "Sorry, this is America. He should be able to fly his flag and take whatever criticism comes with it." And then he said, "Very much for your support for me and my raccoon, and God bless you." From Richard McCloskey. What a maniac! This is so crazy. And then this person called him a jerk because it's not in the law to take care of raccoons. He doesn't know what he's doing. And he commented, I'm sorry you think I'm a jerk. He didn't sign it. He didn't sign it that time. <laughs> he was uh, too too upset to even think about signing it. <gasps> oh, Welcome to the show. Shit. No stepping on the keyboard, sir. Juan, what do you think about all this? He's a little baby boy. Interesting. But yeah, um, I thought that was the perfect segue considering all of the stuff that's happening in Canada right now with all the protests. And this guy, you know, he it, it's just a unique way to protest, just like what's happening in Canada. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unique and racist way to pro- literally racist way to protest. Super <laughs> odd, man. That's so, well, and again, like that the comment of like hey, he don't, don't stop. Oh no. He's all over the keyboard. Oh. Okay. Get out of here. One. Oh my god. He's picking both the keyboards. Okay. No, I like like you said, like I do find it funny that that flag doesn't look new. Like he definitely had it. No, no. And it it's clearly weathered and <laughs> maybe it's even been outside. It might be homemade cuz it's like yeah. a very odd looking flag. I've never seen a gr- well, I don't know. I I, I don't I don't know how many Nazi flags I've really seen. I've, I feel like I only ever have seen like the red. I think it's homemade. One. This doesn't look like That's a pillowcase. Per- it's a pillowcase. It's one thousand percent a pillowcase. That's so, so funny. Maybe he has a a sheet set. Who knows? And yeah, I can't uh, tell how big that flag is. Yeah, but I I I don't know. I just thought it was so fucking funny that this is his way of addressing like the government. <laughs> like, some weird like backwards way of calling them fascists not not even not racist or anything like that he's calling them fascists for taking his stuff but he's in himself criminalizing yeah, well, himself I mean, as a fascist <laughs> racist it's just funny that yeah i don't know like you said nobody could take make him take it down so they just had this whole campaign to like make other signs yeah <laughs> like etnas for everybody but it like i don't know again and that's even like it's it's a reasonable response but at the same time it's like if you if you Look Give it at, any mind. Yeah, it's just like yeah. this guy's just clearly insane. You know, yeah. I guess like people do feel like threatened and uncomfortable when they see that, and it probably encourages like other people who probably have those views. So I guess it's a fair response, but at the same guess, time, it's not. It's not why he did it. He's just completely insane. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You see a Nazi flag, and you immediately think it's like someone scary, not. Yeah. A guy who's like hunched over like this who can't I just, fuck anyone up. I love his justification for it. It's just so funny. About a raccoon, okay? His name's Bandit, okay? It ain't about being black, white, Chinese. I got a lot of black people who are friends. I don't know what's come over this guy. No, you don't. No, no, I don't Stop think anybody does. That. And that's Chris Maggie Steele. <laughs> awesome name. Chris like Maggie Steele. Did Richard have his last name up? 
there is this just his piece. Like <laughs> Yeah, they did not need to show him. Chris Maggie Spear. No, they they put his name up. Richard Francis McCluskey. That's so weird. I know I found name. him though, which was like the annoying part. I just couldn't I don't know. It just uh, the line didn't go through. Maybe he'll he call just, back. Uh, we can only hope. We'll try him again in the near future and, and see if we'll have him on for a scheduled moment. Because I really want to hear what the hell he has to say about this. It's probably complete nonsense and craziness. Oh, dude, I can't imagine what a phone call with this guy would be. Oh, my. Oh, okay. I would love to it, FaceTime him. It's just, you know, yeah, I'm going to ask him. Well, first thing I'd ask him, where'd you get the flag? You know, call him out. Where'd you find that thing? You already have it? You make it yourself after the incident? Before the incident? We need to find out. We need to dig deeper. And he's got camo on, too. But, uh, no. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Anyways. He's stressing me out. I feel like he's going to like that. Nazis in 2022. Here they come. And they want the raccoons back. <laughs> Bring me back my raccoon. Bring me back my raccoon. Oh, oh funny. Oh. All right. Well, that's Richard Francis McCloskey. Yeah. A lot going on in uh, Canada right now and a lot going on for us. Things are starting to open back up to 100%. We, you know, we got some like good news this morning about you know a lot of the vaccine mandates locally lifting. So that's pretty cool to kind of live our lives normal again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Getting rid of that QR bullshit. I no was more. going on a QR rant earlier today. <laughs> QR codes at restaurants. Yeah, uh, like vaccine QR codes and just QR codes in general. I'm fucking over it, dude. Yeah. Unless like I, I there's I don't know what instance. I guess like the only place that I I was like okay I kind of get this just because the setup was at free play. You know what I mean? Because you have a full show, whatever. Like that's a little more chaotic. But yep. like if I'm at a restaurant, I don't want to fucking be on my phone. No, that's the main thing. Because now at all the restaurants, they got the thing, instead of giving you uh, the very dangerous menu, because if you touch that menu and someone else touches that menu, then they have to clean it in between or whatever. I don't know. Probably don't even have to, but, you know, they're going to anyways, because that's what they do. But um, anyways, yeah. So you got to scan the QR code, but now you got everybody at the table just sitting on their phones when you're supposed yeah. to be going out having a good time. Or something. Oh, that's the thing that, like, annoyed me, and I'm not... <laughs> It's <laughs> making me sound hella boomer, but I'm just like, dude, I don't want to be at the phone. Like, I don't want to be at a table at a restaurant looking at my phone. <laughs> nice. But I'm out just trying to enjoy a meal, you know? Absolutely. Look people in the eyes. Absolutely. Yeah, QR code's got to go. I need a real menu. I like a real menu. I like sharing it with friends. I like opening it up, <laughs> looking around the table, handing it over, pointing. No, it's on page three. You got to look yeah. there. And you're going to find the quesadillas. Like, do you want to share fine. this? You and me? Are we going to share this? All this, of that? This and this? Oh, but what about these? I don't know. I'm into it. I'm over the bit, but uh, I'm no. still like pissed about I QR think codes. It's, uh, I think it's a legitimate complaint. I think it's a complaint that needs to be addressed. And we need to lose the QR. Let us know if you think we should lose QR codes. Right now, since it's Valentine's Day and it's Monday morning, we're filming in the morning. We never film in the morning. We're having bro mosas. If you've never mixed orange juice and beer, then you got to grow up. Look at that. Look at that poor, like an athlete. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is it like a I don't know. Is that like or is it like just a splash? I don't know. I guess it's up to you. It's up to you. You poured a lot of beer in there. You're not going 50-50. No. Uh, we got Juan back. He loves bro mosas. He just um. <laughs> he looks. To he thinks he's getting drunk off the OJ. Yeah, we got, I think I poured way too much orange juice in that. But yeah, that's going to be sweet. I don't care. I like it. It's the morning. It's Valentine's Day. We're having a good time. No, I love orange juice. Or is this pulpy? Pulp free. Pulp free. Granted, I don't know. Maybe you should do pulp free when you're mixing it with beer. That's what I was thinking. Oh. I didn't actually think I should grab it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, cheers. Cheers. Ramosas. I know. Is this like, I don't know. In, in Canada, do people get down on bromosas? I feel like I've only ever never had them really in Montana. I've never heard of it before you, and you know what? I'm in love with them. It's one of my favorite like oh, breakfast yeah. time drinks. Uh, Stella Artois and fucking OJ. Well, Stella's like the move. This is great too. Don't get me wrong. This French beer. This thing. is good too. It, I feel like for me, it just has to be like a light beer, like a you know what I mean, like a wheat beer or something. It can't be. Oh, yeah, it's got the well, hint of citrus, too. That's why I chose it. Because I thought if it's already got citrus in it, it kind of makes sense. 
Oh, facts. No, for sure, for sure. I don't know. It I was cheap, and we're just mixing with orange juice anyway, so. I was saying, though, yeah, like, uh, Brass Monkeys, and then the other thing, too, is, like, Red Beers, which mm. I think we've talked, I don't remember if we talked about that or not, but that's another big thing is people getting, like, Bud Light and then putting either clam or, or clamato or uh, tomato juice. Oh. That would, like, every Wednesday, whenever, like, there'd be a game or whatever on, I'd be working or bartending, people just get fucking pitchers and then a cups of cl- uh, clamato juice. Maybe so it's... Annoying. Cool. I I don't know. I don't know. I, I I can't speak to that. I don't really have. I've never really had a drink. I think with tomato juice in it. Never tried one. Yeah, you don't really. That's the thing drink too. Cla- um, Caesars are big out here, but yep. Bloody Marys aren't, and nope. vice versa. Vice versa. No clam juice out where you are. <coughs> I fucking hate clam juice. No thanks. I don't know. I like. I'm sure. Like. I'm sure. I wouldn't even taste it if I had a Caesar or had clamato. But on you're paper, saying that really odd. Am I saying it weird? Say it again. Clamato? 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 Yeah, Clamato. Clamato? Clamato. Just didn't quite sound right when it was rolling off the tongue. I'm holding this mic right now, too. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, bromosos are dope, though. Fucking super tasty drink. Um, But yeah, so we're going to be teaching a lot more at uh, Freestyle Dojo, which is our gym on the west end of Toronto. We're teaching the boxing and kickboxing program there, which has been going awesome. It's been going really well. And, you know, the group of people are just like very positive, you know, very, um, I don't know, ready to learn and, you know, kind of have fun and go with the program. And it's, it's a very good group of people. I'm super happy with how things have been going there. No, for sure. We've like mentioned it uh, before. It's just nice to be like in a like. I think because it was such a blank slate, you know, and when it opened up and whatnot, it is a new gym. Yeah. It's it, you know the the community is just there's nothing tainted or there's no. Yeah. Uh, we, we get to set the vibe. You know, yeah. we get to kind of like choose what the culture is going to be like and sort of dictate the way things are going to be uh, uh, going in terms of like I don't know like the general like how you're going to be interacting with other people when you go into the gym, because I really wanted to like create a space, like not to say like it's all inclusive and you know, like everybody when they come in, they're all going to feel like warm and fuzzy and whatever. Like it's not necessarily like that. Like obviously it's all, anybody can come and join the class, but I wanted to just make a space where people can like show up and like feel like they're, they're friends with everybody there. I don't know. It's like, I'm not trying no, to like no, oversimplify no. it. It's not, uh, Make that, it sound like odd. Well, I think like just the way that we have it structured too though. And like, you know, being, having like the two people working it so you can have more attention to beginners. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's nice, especially for people that like, you know, never had a chance to ever try anything like that. And I feel like that's what helps make it inclusive and like welcoming, you know? No, that's a big thing. We don't want to like have people floundering and just sort of like, uh aha. And we've said like, wait, the camera stop. Not long ago. Sorry. Camera stopped for some reason. It sometimes does that. And I, cannot tell you why but anyways we're back and we were just talking about the gym i don't think it stopped for too long but um we were just talking about our gym and like the way that we structure a lot of uh the programming and sort of the community vibe there because yazzie takes in all of the beginners like brand brand new people and sort of like sticks them off to the side and you know works with them over there while like i run like the majority of the rest of the class but it's nice because of that, like that way we can kind of fast track, like, okay, you work with me so you know, like the basic punches, you know how to kick, you know how to hold the pads, whatever. Yep. And then like it streams line, streamlines them to just jump in with you, like exactly. a little bit later on. Like you, then... you need a bit of fundamentals. I find it hilarious when like people have been in classes for so long. Juan, stop. There's a little baby crying out there. But. I, I find it hilarious, not hilarious, but like just disheartening when I see coaches run a class and, you know, they kind of just let people flounder for so long to the point where it's almost like they look at them like there's no point of helping them now, you well, know, because they're like just happy. It's like a coach if like someone's been doing your fucking class for 
six months or a year or two years and they still can't throw a hook properly or they still can't, you know what I mean, walk without crossing their feet. Yeah. Or just like basic things like that where it's like if you just put a little more attention on, you know, maybe some of the boring stuff. Yeah. But every time, like, I always apologize. And I'm like, I'm sorry, like, we're on the ladder, but, like, this is the only way that you're going to get this quick. You know yep. what I mean? A lot of louder work. appreciates it. Yep. A lot of people do appreciate that rather than getting thrown in the class. And Absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's, uh, it, it makes you feel like, you know, it's not as intimidating because you kind of get that, like, really, like, thoughtful one-on-one from somebody who, like, clearly wants you to learn. And, mm-hmm. and like, people appreciate when you're, like, you really stress the minor things. Yeah. You know? They, they don't, f- like, I, I guess people assume that, like, when beginners show up, they just want to, like, whatever, smack and hit the pads and stuff. But everybody wants to learn and actually look good at this. And yeah, no one wants to look like an idiot. Everybody looks at it like it's a skill. Like, nobody's yeah. going in there thinking, like, oh, I just want, like, a just a great workout today. Like, you want that workout for sure, but you always want to leave with, like, feeling like you've gained something that you could show to somebody, you know? Yeah, it's, it's the same, though. Like, you could say the same about, like, CrossFit or any other, like, workout right it's like i would hate to like yeah going to a crossfit gym if i've never done it before would be cool if i like sweat a ton and you know what i mean i worked out but like i don't know how to bench i don't know how to do cleans i don't know how to do that you know what i mean i would way rather i don't know do the fundamentals beforehand absolutely i think everybody's on board with that 100 percent. it's just been so cool seeing people that you wouldn't think love it you know like a lot of the people that are involved it's like really cool to see um yeah like, you always expect, like, like young men to, yeah. like, get in and, like, you just expect them to, like, fall in love with it because it's just been, like, you know, it's it's kind of, like, ingrained in the culture of martial arts that, like, young men do fighting, mm-hmm. right? But when, you know, young women or, you know, even not so young women that are, like, you know, not not necessarily old, but, like, I wouldn't even say middle age. I would just say, like, yeah, like... You know, just really women in general who t- don't seem like they've ever really felt strong with something. Yeah. They never feel like they've felt physically, like, empowered. You know, not That's just... That's the best. That, well, the, no. the coolest thing is, like, I, I have a, a girl that I train who's, like, really petite, really sweet, like, the sweetest girl. Um, and has only ever done, like, Peloton and, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, cycling and whatnot. And it's been so cool to, like, her going from, like, barely hitting to the pad to, like, finally understanding what I mean when she, like, needs to turn in a shit and, like, yeah, rot, like hurt my elbow yesterday because her hook was so hard. I was just like, dude. Crazy. And the look on her face after she did it, it's just, like, like she clicked. so good. It clicked. Very, so very cool. I love showing that. And, like, yeah, again, like, smaller women being like, dude, do you know how badass, like, <laughs> you're, div- like, you know what I mean? People your size are in yep. the cage. They can be. So fun. They absolutely can be. It's very, very cool stuff. And having a lot of fun with that. And on top of that, we've been doing a lot of our wrestling, of course. Y'all good? Yeah, I just got a cool message. Uh, but uh, do you want to mention it? Or? Uh just about, uh, no, it's all good. I don't want to mention it. Okay. <laughs> Secrets. But, um, yeah, we, uh, uh, been doing our wrestling and it's moving to a new gym, which is super cool or uh, like a new location, same gym. And, uh, we're probably going to start teaching some classes there during the uh, lunchtime, but that's kind of like our East end spot, central Toronto wrestling. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's all. It's all really exciting. We love that wrestling gym. Like, it's uh, the best. Again, that very similar kind of community vibe where everybody feels like a friends, kids, adults, everybody yeah. all feel involved with one another, which is really cool. No, for sure, for sure. You know, four-hour yeah. practice. <laughs> four-hour practice from 10 to 2 was there just fucking work and to the point where I was like, oh, my God, I feel like I can't even stand. But, yeah, it was good stuff. Learning a lot and, and getting a lot stronger, too, which is really cool. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know. Anything else? A little comedy show updates, maybe? Yeah, just running shows. I mean, it's it's nice that stuff's coming back, so that, like, the only shows that I'm doing aren't my Thursday and then, yep. like, an occasional spot somewhere else. But, yeah, I've got a lot of... I'm on a lot of shows coming up that I'm really stoked about. Um, what else was I going to say? 
Uh, we got a show coming up on March 6th. Yeah. At uh, yeah, we didn't free, talk about the free play, play arcade. Yeah, we did our first free play show, which was awesome. Was freaking out about selling tickets. Had a lot of trouble selling tickets, but we ended up actually having a really good turnout, which was super cool. And everybody's really, really loving the show. And it ran perfectly. And the, the venue was amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I honestly, no complaints as far as uh, yeah. the way that ran. Um, Yazzie was an amazing host. I don't know if you guys can hear Juan right now but he will not stop crying outside the door. And it's only because he wants us to pet his back while he's eating food. Yeah. So he wants to chow. It's it, he's not in distress just in case you're wondering. He's What's just, the mix between that and he's always hyper right now. So he just, either he wants us to pet him while he chows yeah. or he wants to get chased. Either or um, he, he wants a lot of attention. So, but hey, whatever. That's all I do. He'll, he'll be okay. But uh, the free play show went really, really great. Um, super cool location too. Can't say enough good things about free play arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. March six. Uh, Doing well, it again. Eight thirty p.m. Yep. Doors open at eight. You better believe it. Anyone that gets a ticket uh, or is there for the show uh, gets free gameplay. So, that's so you get to play sick. all of the. It's like one of those arcades where they uh, put all of the machines like the the really cool vintage arcade machines in demo mode or whatever so like you can walk up and play any of them you don't got to put a quarter in or nothing like that and uh they have all kinds of other little things like foosball and like those uh basketball all shooting games. games yeah Ness, whatever all that jazz it's really sick they got um, a ton of like uh vintage consoles too hooked up to tvs with like private tables and booths and whatnot so it's really really cool spot and the owner is just like the the nice this guy this is so like the, easy to work with so oh easy to work with so yeah also he, doing shows still at blackjack barbecue for the time being um every thursday also at 8 30 um so if you're on the east end come yep. check us out we always have good lineups there too sweet but okay uh, Enough of the ad reads. I know, I know. If you yeah, follow me on Instagram and you'll see all the yeah, shows. Yeah, North South presents. Sorry, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyways, we got some interesting stuff here. Um, the first one. This is a brand new uh segment that I just came up with yesterday, and it's called "When Would You Fucking Punch This Guy in the Mouth?" When would you fucking punch this guy? When would you fucking punch a guy in the mouth you know what i mean i feel like i just burped in the mic sorry that's okay um so let's just jump into it you have to put your um self into the position of this young couple that's sitting here so this couple here in the bottom right they're involved So this guy like edited it together kind of weird. I wish he just replayed it. But this fucking guy's being like a prick yelling at them. Right. So he's homeless or something. So when you would you hit him? Are you already at a point where you'd hit this guy? I don't know. This is hard because he does just look he looks kind of homeless, so it's it's weird. Right? Homeless, but cleaner than Yeah, that. like... Look at him. I tell you, shit. right the there... The second you get swung on, you throw. The second you get swung on... So that guy, like, he, he aimed for his crotch there, actually, if you didn't notice. So when he threw this punch... Boom. He aimed, like, for his... You kicking me in my fucking nuts? And this chick just stands up. Imagine still sitting there oh, in front of this not. guy. You would have already thrown. No, the second anyone, like, I think you're going to throw, you're getting thrown. Oh, 100%. I don't, you don't wait. I would never, like, incite violence, but, like, if I think you're going to punch me or if I think you're going to hit me, I'm going to hit you. So we're not going to watch the whole video, <laughs> but basically, oh. like... I'll show you just some of the highlights. This guy drops his shit, gets in his face. <laughs> These guys try to break him up. This is crazy. 
yeah, anyways, they get a lot more of that, a lot of pushing, a lot of yelling, whatever. And then he's standing over here. And oh, then, he's still coming at him. Then he comes back, and this guy sits down. After this guy has already thrown a punch at him, he sits down on the ground while this guy's leaning over top of him with his fist balled up behind him, kicking him. And he's still going to sit there. The guy who's dealing with it is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. Look, he's pushing him. He's on the stairs, too. I would not be down on that. I know. Kick me in the... So he spits on him. He spits on him. Then they spit on each other because the guy's... He's doing that thing where he, like, screams, but he does it, like, with intent to, like, get a little spit out. Goes, oh, my God. Come on! Here. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. When people spit on... Oh, that's the gross. So he's shit. sitting right in his face. So then this guy thinks, okay, I'm just going to spit in his face, this homeless guy's face. And then the homeless guy spits in his face... See, bitch! Look, like, the, the girlfriend. Stop spitting at me! Pushing him. Dude, the fucking lead up to this fight is so funny. <laughs> They're cheering. Drops it. Okay, maybe this guy isn't homeless. I think he might just be like an alcoholic. I think he's an alcoholic, yeah. Yeah. And, it, like, I don't know. They talk about it afterwards. But this guy, like, apparently. Look, he gets right in her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When would you swing? When would you just fucking clean this guy's clock? That's so. That guy's funny. trying to hold him back. Yeah, I think he's an alcoholic. He's not. Uh, he's not a homeless guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too clean. He's wearing like a chain and he's got a backpack and a nice jacket. But anyways, so this guy just won't leave this dude alone. Oh Boom. God. And then he goes out there and he keeps yelling. He's drinking Duncan. Of he's course, drinking. this is on the East Coast. He's drinking Duncan. Oh, this is New York. And then, so then they're getting interviewed, and then this guy. He, no. I'm glad you kicked him in the nuts. Glad you kicked him in the nuts. He's like, I didn't really kick him in the nuts. So they're doing a replay. And then he comes back. That's his dad. So the guy filming this is his dad. That's what he said. Kicks him. Honestly, though, this guy kind of is a pussy. Like, he stood his ground in a very weird way. Yeah. But how do you not, when somebody, like, he touched his girlfriend, like, twice. Yeah. Twice, right in front of him. And all he did was, like, that little, like, you know, flaily kick thing at his nuts. And, like, fair enough. You don't know what the fucking guy's got. Like, this is obviously a big city on the East Coast. Like, yeah. I, I'm assuming New York, just because the way this guy's acting and how everybody's sitting in a public park on the stairs it seems very New York. But Yeah, I don't know, man. This is very odd. Very odd. I honestly, yeah, the, I like it. The first interaction is what I would have saw. I know. The second someone what? gets in your face. He's, he's saying that he's going to call the cops. He's like, you're going to call the cops? Go call. Like, just, why are you going to call them? Because there's an NYPD truck, like, right there. And he's like, you fucking idiot. Why don't you go talk to the truck right there? Fuck you. That's FGT. Funny. You know? <laughs> he's like, Whoa. more Honestly, though, now I'm actually getting to be more on his side. Because <laughs> the guy didn't no, you, punch him. You can't. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, and then these monks show up. And they're like, hey, bring it up. No, it's a... Uh, you can't be on his side just because he screams the FGT word a bunch. Oh, does he? <laughs> a bunch, yeah. Oh, and I basically, a fight never happens. Uh, That's the shocking part about that whole video. I'm sorry it's anticlimactic. Uh, climactic. They literally named this video on YouTube, fucking drunk guy gets knocked out by dude in park or something. And it just never happened. I was like, you so motherfuckers. Odd. Anyways, so yeah, that's um, that's it. That's but the first one. Okay. That's the first one. I wanted to get into that, but I got some other good ones here. And when would you fucking punch this guy? Um, is that the name of the segment? Oh uh, yeah, maybe we could. Um, I guess we could do a couple other ones, kind of like that. I, I got know. some like kind of fucked up ones, but I also got some 
some really funny ones. Oh, okay. Geez. So this one, we're not going to show this guys. So I st this one's fucking made me laugh so hard. Never They're in a hotel. There's two people over here in their bathing suits. There's another guy on the left side of the screen. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's check it out. Grabs that dude. Boom. <laughs> Watch the way it goes down. It's so fucking funny. So, the chick walks up, grabs him by his dreads, starts pulling on his head. She pushes him out of the way, punches the guy. <laughs> Total dumb, dumb chick move. But anyways, like, just watch this in slow-mo, right? She gets pushed out of the way. This, this guy with her is just totally unexpected. Dude, the wind up on that. Oh, he had no fucking clue what was happening. Does he follow through on the... I want to see his toe when he lands the punch. I want to see if he follows through. No. He stepped it in behind him. Fucking cleans this guy. Oh. Knocks him out. He fucking smashes the ground. <laughs> but I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> this chick grabs onto this guy's hair. She pushes him... <laughs> he pushes her out of the way and just knocks this guy out. <laughs> Yeah, poor. <laughs> I guess he's with her, so. Boom! <laughs> Ooh, what a dumb bitch, man. And she's still uh, trying to get after him. You see what just happened, lady? This is all on camera. This is all on camera. He touched And then he knocked that guy out. Dude, what was she thinking? Grabbing onto a dude's hair like that. I don't know. The way she, like, he looks jacked him. too. I mean, he's yeah, not a he's small a big guy. Dude. What's up with white people in bathing suits thinking they're invincible? Yeah, <laughs> that's also facts. That's just like, I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> they think this is what MMA fighters wear. I don't fucking know. I've, the amount of videos I've seen of chicks getting after it in bikinis is insane. Yeah, they still don't have her under control. No, she's still not. going after. Oh my god, this poor dude is out, man. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not him. You got a drink. <laughs> so dude funny. flops off. Oh, she was completely insane. That's the thing. Oh, my God. I don't know. I would never... That's the other thing, too, is, like, depending on a situation, or, like, I would never instigate a fight, but it's just, like, if I'm about to fight, you have to be aware of what you're wearing. I would never try and swing in flip-flops. Oh, probably still can. wet on a tile floor with oh no God. shoes on. I'm so, I would be so scared of hitting my head. Oh, yeah. Dude. Out. Was, the, that one really made me laugh though because it's pretty funny. I I honestly think like the guy who got his hair pulled though kind of he he pretty much just assaulted the other guy. <laughs> like he was not as involved. Maybe something happened beforehand. Yeah. But he just pushed her out of the way and just ran up on him and knocked him out. You know? Dude. Like it was not a good enough reason to hit him. <laughs> I couldn't hit her. So funny. Okay, so we got a. Uh, so we had what we had at the start there. We had a guy who wouldn't defend his girlfriend and was a pacifist. We had a guy who knocked out the husband because of the wife. And now let's get a, a guy who legitimately defends his wife. This is an old clip, very old, so mind the, uh, the quality here. But that's my wife. She's asking him to go. Okay, when nice. would you have swung? <laughs> 
soon as a guy steps in your, your girlfriend's face and she kind of has to do this to give herself some space, it's probably when I... I probably wouldn't have swung that, but I would have given him a shove, at least as a bit of a warning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, he knocked his ass out. No, he didn't even give him a fucking second. That's cool. Gone or slow. Oh, oh. Wait, who, that, who's wife? Whose wife is... It's, so the, the the big guy who came in afterwards and knocked him out, that was his, his girl. Right? He's oh. like, yeah, I'm a fucking girl's face. That's what he said. You okay, know? I couldn't tell if... Oh, okay, I couldn't tell if he was... If he knocked him out on account of her... I, you know what I'm saying? I thought it... I don't know. That's crazy. No, no, he... Uh, yeah, he stepped in... Uh, yeah, he broke yeah, in again. Be careful. Don't let him on the keyboard and shit. Don't. Come on. No. But, um... Yeah, uh... No, that guy was uh, just out there defending his own wife, which was uh, exactly what you got to do in that situation. Unlike the other dude with the crazy drunk guy. But I digress about that. But yeah, that was a good one. Really appreciated that class. He's in a house. A little more contained. Call him a bitch. Okay. Motherfucking bitch. Okay, so we got another one. We got a uh, man defending his wife, or at least girlfriend. One has a beard. This is what he's usually like. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, I got another clip here uh, titled Wife Saves Husband. Let's check this one out. So uh, these are two clearly um, healthy, sweet-looking individuals. <laughs> Based on the way she's holding her teeth. Yeah, yeah, and she's about to defend this really kind gentleman, this cool guy back here. Wearing the tap out shirt. Oh my god. Crack ass. <laughs> Yeah, that's a day one chick right there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, that, that woman defending her husband like that, that's a real one. Wait, I'm, I'm so confused as to what the fuck just happened. So basically... I was waiting for someone to get hit. No, no, no. no. Nobody gets hit. It's, it's just a woman defending her toothless... Husband, boy, for husband being creepy towards a minor for basically telling a 16 year old in Walmart that she's got like a nice ass or something like that. Oh and they said, I'm 16. God. And then this chick freaks out and says, Don't fucking wear that shit then if you don't want to fucking hear it. Oh right? Yeah, like they look cranked out. Very normal, healthy individual she shopping looks like in Walmart. Someone I know. Both of those people look like some. This might have happened in Billings. I was going to say, this very well could have been Billings. <laughs> It one hundred percent looks like two crackheads I know in Billings. <laughs> oh, guaranteed. Yeah, easily could have been. All right, but look at her. Yeah. Oh, she, she looks healthy. Oh she man. She looks like a, a trustworthy face. <sighs> Not on meth. You're fucking girls. Oh my and god, that guy doesn't even have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a demon. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look at him. Imagine that guy telling you you got a nice ass. Oh, dude. And then her. Oh my god. You have a nice ass. The crackhead women always look in so much better shape than the men, though. How come the men look so fucking weathered from it? Yeah, I don't know. She looks, like, in way better health than him. She like, looks... He looks terrible. Well, I teeth. bet they're different ages. I bet he's... He looks like he's significantly older. Yeah, true. Look at him. He's all mad. He's like, you're wearing that outfit. It's not fair to the men. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. Men. Sorry. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, aside from... <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, uh, I cut off again at some point. Sorry about that, but again, I don't. I've been checking it very frequently, so I think we're good. Um, anyways, yeah, if you guys didn't catch that or little tidbits of it, yeah, this crazy crackhead bit. Don't wear that bloody ass fucking outfit. Nothing like a 16-year-old wearing short shorts in the summer, and then you get hit on by a 38-year-old crackhead. Well, she didn't even. The shorts, like, would she get? Very not standard. that it, not that it matters, but it's like they really weren't even that crazy. No, they weren't crazy. They were very standard, very standard. Not that it matters, but no, no, it absolutely doesn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, funny nonetheless that they tried or this chick tries to defend her husband here. Okay, we got another one. Um, really liked this one. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> this fucking big dude here, he is hey, relentless. You'll be my what? My motherfucking present, I think. My present? My wow. present. I love you're, that. It's a gift to me right now. I'm going to fuck you up so bad. It's a gift that I get to fuck you up. I love because that. This dude who he's, uh, he's pushing on there um, was apparently, I don't know, hit his girlfriend at the restaurant. I don't know. I don't know if, what degree or like in what context or if yeah. he's in the restaurant, they're sitting there. I don't know. But this guy walks up on them afterwards after this guy hit, him, hit her. And <laughs> he just walks up. So shut the fuck up! I love it. So we can eat! So this is That's... another game of, okay, let's put you in the context of the guy sitting there. Oh, no, it's... You can be, I choose Wait, either one. Wait, so who hit who? I'm sorry. The guy sitting down hit his girlfriend who's sitting across from him right now. You can't see her right now. But then this guy's also in the restaurant, walks up to him, and it's just like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? You know? Oh, hitting the, okay, so yeah. a guy's in there with his girlfriend. He hits his girlfriend. So now, this guy comes up and is like, why'd you hit your girlfriend? Yeah, so this is the Valentine's Day special. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Valentine's Day special. All right, Kings. <laughs> Snatches his hat. He's doing the, the spit thing. Right? Look at that. <laughs> what is this dude's a, a unit, though. Whoa. There's two guys there. He doesn't give a fuck. Whoa. I want to... <laughs> that guy's trying so hard to protect him. <laughs> so the guy called him. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, who in the fuck do you see that at? <laughs> Dude, that guy's huge. Oh, he's a unit. When it zooms out, like he's like easily pushing three fifty, and he's got to be at least six three. Like he's a big dude. This guy's like, come on, man. <laughs> like he's standing on the seat. He won't let go of him. He's so mad. <laughs> trying to break it up. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> this guy's loving it. Look at this dude, though. He's fucking big. He's in sweats. He's ready to go. Yeah, so he said, I'm going to shoot you. And then, <laughs> listen. Shoot the shit out of you. I love the way he, I love the way he says motherfucker. Hear that? Shoot me! Look at them stand there. They can't even get out of the fucking booth. Because of this dude. I've never seen a guy punked so bad. God bless. 
I've never seen a guy punk. Now he's trying he's to act all straddling the seat. He's still oh standing in the God. booth. He won't even get out of the booth. That's so funny. That's so funny. Hilarious. And what are they in? They're in uh what is that? Mud house. No, it's Mud Middle House, I think it says. Griddle House? Griddle House, yeah, maybe. I can't tell. Looks like middle. That's hilarious. Some type of house. Huddle house? Cuddle house. Something like that. I think you're at Huddle House. Huddle House. Yeah. Huddle House. Where the fuck that is? Shoot me! Shoot me! It won't be the first time! Dude, that was sick. That guy... I mean, I, I don't know what the other guy did to his girlfriend, but if he did hit her or was aggressive and it didn't say it, you know? Yeah. No, that's a He bet. didn't even have to hit him. He just punked him out. Oh, made him look like such a bitch yeah. in the best way possible. Just grabbing him by his shirt, pinning him down. Like, he won't even fucking react. He's just standing there like, fuck, fuck. Dude. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why he's hitting women, right? <laughs> Total fucking bitch, yeah. And, and that guy knew that, too. If you're going to hit women in public, you know you're going to be a fucking bitch when you get punked out. All right. Oh, oh my god, man. this is so good. Just pinning him there. Oh my god, <laughs> bitch! Yeah, he was like completely paralyzed. Oh. <laughs> his friend. The, guy, the look at his friend's face, dude. As it's going down, it's like, come on. When he tried to separate them, when he's like, like leaning over <laughs> top. He's like, come on, get off. That's dangerous, dude. That's so funny. That's his attempt to separate. Uh, yeah. Well, honestly, the last place you want to be when a fight's starting is stuck in a fucking booth. Like this. Yeah. You're pinned in a booth, and there's a guy who's like, he's got to be at least 350, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and he's grabbing you by your fucking collar, pinning you, and going, bitch. Well, he had his head, too, for a second, too. I'm like, can you imagine how scary that would be to have, like, oh, yeah. so scary? <laughs> you holding your head like he that? He threw his hat? Like, oh, my God. Yeah, he made that guy look like a total fucking it, bitch. And the whole thing with, like, all of these, though, and, like, we watch so many public... Perfect form. Uh, public fights, it's just, like, it really brings out, like... You guys gotta do... You gotta, you gotta learn how to fight, man. Yeah, you don't know. You probably... You wouldn't... Get, be in that situation probably if you did because yep. <laughs> he wouldn't be acting crazy yeah uh but as well like i don't know it's just it's so funny to see people act so tough and literally have no fucking idea of how to like move their body or even just you know i don't know well that's actually a perfect segue into our last video here that i got loaded up for us um boom 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 boom, boom. where so is red. it uh Oh, I saw red is actually awesome too. That guy just fucks up everybody. Okay, well, we got two more. We got two more. New York's Times Square may be world famous for its bright lights. I love this. Crowds. But tonight, it's the planet's biggest boxing ring. Here we go. He fucked all these guys up. Just assaulted a girl. And now her fiance, <laughs> Christian Vidal, steps in to defend her honor. How quickly would you get in a fight? Yeah, he fucks up three dudes. Christian. Fuck yeah. Slip. I like that they got him. <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> Some dude standing there with a cell. Videographer. Someone throws his hat. Oh my god. Boom, boom, boom. And he's still going for the hat. That's a real one. Oh my god. Oh shit. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Doesn't pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> Sit him down. <laughs> I love it. I hit the guy, everybody was pretty much screaming, yelling like my favorite. Boom! Love that. I felt like a champion. <laughs> <laughs> the other hoods no longer want any part of the battle. 
<laughs> he gets hit with the horse. Holy shit, that's so funny. Fortunately for Christian, Xavier and the others are able to tell the cops what happened. So funny. There were several witnesses who just said that he was only, you know, protecting himself and his girlfriend. Dude, that's so funny. Bringing it up with the horse. Yeah. You're getting in a street fight in the middle of time. Is that where they're at Times Square? Yeah, and then Times Square. Fucking getting taken out with a horse. You get blindsided by a fucking horse. Yeah. Dude, that's so funny. It's really funny. But good for him, though. He is a champion. I know. He, yeah, I felt like a champion. <laughs> He's so stoked. He's yeah. like, damn, I didn't think I was going to make it on TV fucking these guys up. Clean shots, honestly. Looks like he's got. Some oh, every dude. punch he landed, he fucked these guys up. Oh, yeah, I got some other ones. His hands. I always think about that as like in a street fight. I'm like, dude, I can't imagine how sore your hands would be. I got this other one. Um, I call it "fat piece of shit gets Mexican." Okay. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, it's kind of. I don't know. It's like. All right, we'll put it on. Let's see, so. This guy's like hitting her with a flashlight in the back of the car. And she's like stuck there or whatever. And then Holy fuck. Ching is away! Look at this fucking piece of shit. Look at this cat. He got fucking diabetes. It's like kind of. wearing my shirt. Fucked. And but then all these Mexicans. <laughs> I think I've seen this. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Legs are, their legs are all fucked up. This I've guy, definitely seen this video before. This yeah, these guy guys fuck them up. Get in the car. They get in front of the truck. Falls. And all the Mexicans just start fucking filming them. Awesome. Get that up. Get your eyes away. God damn you. God damn you. Get out. Love it. Yeah. Look, the street just gets the flashlight from him. Good. Fuck him. What a fucking piece of shit. But this chick's still in the back of the truck right now. They just started it, right? They're all fucking him up. He takes off. The finish is the best part of the whole video. They managed to get her out. That's a rescue mission. Holy shit. Watch this, though. So the, the truck's coming. All right. So the truck's coming. This guy's got the flashlight right now. Runs. Jumps in the back of the truck. Oh, dude, this guy's pissing his pants, too, I bet. He smashed out the window. <laughs> he smashed out the back window, and then he hopped out. And this guy peels off. Oh, I thought he was going to get him. <laughs> but that's fucking, fucking awesome, though. How crazy is that, though? Like, just, like, at that point, it's just out of spite. Like, yeah, why did yeah, you yeah. jump in the back of a fucking moving truck? You're like, this guy's a fucking piece of shit. And they jump in, smashes the back window, hops out, and then the truck peels off. Dude, like, that's, that's hilarious. That's badass. Street justice, baby. That was street justice. That poor woman, though. I hope that she got the help that she needs and everything else. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, that part was kind of sad. Definitely. Sad. I've definitely seen that video before. Um, Fucking pieces of garbage. That. Well, and using a weapon when you're so much bigger than her. She got her. She's sort of fucked up. She's fat and like unhealthy. Yeah. Hitting her with a flashlight. Oh, that's that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. But thank God for those uh, those guys that showed up. Um, I wouldn't have mentioned the fact that they're Mexican, but the, the whole time they're like yelling at him in Spanish. We skipped through a little bit, but it was, it was pretty good. Oh, man. <laughs> they all fucking That fell. was sick. That was sick. So, last one here. Um, Go ahead, call the cops right now. Call you, you the cops. Did. You're on my property. He's on his property. Yeah, property you are. Dispute. No, you're on this property. No, no. Yeah, you are. Give him a little shove. Barefoot. I love this young dude. Look at this fat fuck though. Yeah. No <laughs> shoes. What you gonna do, motherfucker? Anyways, so they they pulls up on each other for a little while. I will skip our way through. Like, he puts his hands behind his back. He's going to Jorge Masvidal. I'm just wait. 
So he's putting up. And then I love that they both do this. Now look, my hands are back. Your hands are back. Neither one of us are gonna fight. I got a fucking boiler. Touch me or back the fuck up. Boom. Oh, now the chest and chest. Chest and chest. chest, chest. Boom. I, I love the two different postures here. Competing, about to fight postures. This. This a young man's about to fight posture. And this. That's very much like trailer trash. <laughs> I just love the indent his gut is making on <laughs> <Yes>. him. <laughs> it is belly there. It's like indenting. Uh, boom! Oh. Fucking slaps him. He was shocked by that. Oh! 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 Perfect double leg. Nice. Fuck Mount. Him. So he he had clearly a bit of wrestling experience that he jumped. That was sick. So Look. Oh, I was just listening to the snaps. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Nice. My favorite part right there. That's so. <laughs> that's how this made the Valentine's Day <laughs> episode. These two lovers in the back both be like. That's their son. <laughs> Rachel's getting himself into shit again. You know. Hasn't been That's one fucking so week with us. Funny. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. They're both standing in this shit. They probably sleep in there. Oh my god. God damn it. They don't even react to this guy getting fucked up. And that's like that's their son, I think. It's gotta be. Alright, Johnny. Go. Oh, Johnny's got fucking him up. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, dude. No, he says it's on. It's on now. <laughs> Double leg again. Picture my love again. Perfect. It's ahead that time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sits him down one more. That's so funny. Just wait. <laughs> it gets better. Oh, he comes with a chair? Or a table? He's got the folding table. He's <laughs> swinging at the camera, man. Put it down! Whoa! <laughs> the cops up. The cops came Dude, right at so the funny. perfect time. Right? They show up with the fucking tasers. That's so funny. Put it down! Put it down! That's their cop car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An exterminator truck? Yo, he's about to oh, take them fuck. out, though. Dude, that's awesome. That's all of his shades. I love how bad the quality is, but I can still tell that it's like a band going around his head. Oh, yeah. He's a fast cop. Fuck yeah! All right. Super funny. I um, the 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 takedowns in that made that fight. Oh, right? absolutely! It was a perfectly executed double leg like, right at the bat. Was the it. first a double or was it a single? Or a high crouch? Boom. Mm -hmm. So like, look right underneath the arm. Look at the foot position. Boom. Yeah. Steps in the legs tight. He's he always it's a high crouch, isn't it? Yeah. Look, he's got the one. Oh no, double. He reached around. Look at that head position too. This guy knows how to wrestle without a doubt. Yeah. He's got the legs fucking tangled up. He steps back, which is actually a good reaction in that instance. He's trying to step back, but he's turning the corner. <laughs> he just tore his knee. Oh, he just, look at his ankle. <laughs> so. This was way too full. <gasps> oh, his knee's gone. Oh. He's driving him into it. He doesn't know where the fuck to go now. That's a perfectly executed double leg. Oh, look oh, at that. there too, eh? So he really did know how to... Th do a real good double leg. Look at him. He's driving from his legs, elevating this guy. Boom! Honestly? Yeah, and, and the couple in the background still soaking it in. Oh my god. Yeah, him doing that double probably saved that guy's knee. Thank god he got elevated and didn't just drive him through it. Yeah, seriously though. Look at how the fucking airtime on that. That was a perfect double leg. Boom. And then this guy just fucking slammed. Bro, that guy needs to get recruited for street beefs. Straight up. But the second one, he was a little jammed up. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's running at him. Okay, excellent, right? He doesn't step the foot back. He steps in. He's driving in. But this guy has a lot of forward momentum behind him, and that boiler's going to be a lot to handle. The, in <laughs> the fucking impact. Boom. Oh, oh. Yeah. He's lucky he hit the wall, right? His ass hits the wall. Look, he's using some good cage control tactics there. But, yeah, again, just that little bit of elevation. Look the way he drives up from his legs to get that elevation. Boom. Airtime. What's uh, up? Dude, this guy's awesome. And then, boom, look at the head from here to there. Head smashing oh. the ground. Bow. Dude, that's so jarring. <laughs> this guy's fucked up. I had to go to physio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he 
<laughs> like a concussion. My back's out of place. Torn LCL, ACL's done. Fucking fucked his back up. So funny. Anyways, that's all the clips that I got. Wow. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Sorry for burping again. That's okay. We don't really care about the holiday necessarily that much, but it is a nice excuse to hang out and enjoy time with one another. And, you know, it's it's just like, an, I guess, a good excuse to hang out and yeah. to make sure we spend time with one another. You know, we should always do that. Regardless, it's, it's hard to make time when you're super busy, so... This is a day for us, so why not, right? Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Cool. Honestly, I don't think so. I think, uh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, and hopefully uh, you guys are doing what you like doing, and we'll see you out and about.